co-chair of Olympic Care, who uh, Ms. Lynn Cohen. Let's give her a hand. and those who are here to learn. It's going to be just super, super exciting, and thank you very much. Um, as uh, we kind of move through the entries, we have a lot, so make sure you check out. We have a People's Choice Award, so as you're looking at all the things and making yourself around, um, please make sure you're voting for your favorite thing that you see. Um, and uh, we will be doing a People's Choice Award on Sunday, so make sure you have that going on. And I would like to also, at this time, take a moment and do a moment of silence. Today is um, National uh, Day of Silence in support of um, having to, no child to face um, any kind of bullying in school. And so if we could just take a moment. me around to um, uh, why we're all here and um, what we um, what we do here and how we um, bring our guests together and you know it, it started way back when when um, you know I had a dream of working in this industry and trying to to break uh, break in and I was um, from a young child uh, used to watch soap operas, <laughs> and I was an ABC fan, uh, started with uh, General Hospital, and then got hooked on All My Children, and uh, VCRs came out, and you couldn't get from All My Children to General Hospital without one life to live in the middle, and so I've <laughs> been recording them, and one day I stopped fast forwarding through that one, and, um, and then watched all three, and it, it's uh, was always a dream of mine to work in the um, television industry and specifically when I was up and coming and going through college I wanted to work in soap operas and on General Hospital and thankfully I succeeded that goal, yay! So that was, <laughs> that was a feat, but um, I have remained a long fan and uh, when we were talking about um, guest hosts um, and keynote speakers for this, um, I started thinking about who I knew and those kinds of things and who could be a, a good keynote to lead off our event and Year of the Woman and all of those things and uh, a year ago I connected with our keynote speaker um, through social media, um, supporting her efforts in what she does in her career in the arts and producing and directing and so we tweeted back out to her and um, and you know and, and here she is so not only is um, 
this bringing personal um, gratification to me as well as I think it's such a phenomenal thing for us to have such a caliber of talent um, here at our studio for our third year as we are in our third year of DigiFest and growing it and doing what we're doing so we are completely honored. So um, I am going to now transition as I introduce, and I don't have my glasses on me, but um, as I introduce our wonderful keynote speaker, uh, Miss uh, Katie McLean, and she is, okay, so I'm gonna have to pull this down there. She has worked extensively for 30 years as an actor in film, television, and theater. She is also a writer, director, and producer with two Emmys and six nominations in her acting work and two Emmy nominations for directing. Uh, Venice, the series, season three. She is the recipient of the 2007 Matrix Award from the Association of Women in Communications and her film on female directors won the Audience Award and Best Film at the 2017 COHO Inter uh, Soho, I can do that. Soho International Film Festival. Her narrative film Butterflies, which she produced and directed on the topic of bullying, won best short film and best actress in the short film in the Philadelphia Ind Independent Film Festival in 2018. And with that, I give you Miss Katie McLean. <laughs> 